Hi, I'm Alvin. I am a tasty producer, and we are at the BuzzFeed Tasty Kitchens. And I'm Kanchan, founder of Spice Spice Baby and part of Tasty's Creators Program. And we're going to show you around to show you where all the recipe magic happens. Come on in. So this is the Tasty Studio. This is kind of where all of our recipe videos happen. We have four stations. Each comes with cameras, lighting, and we also have a kitchen in the back to make sure that we can cook everything we need to. Every Tasty video usually can take one person. It can go from one to three, but one person is usually in task with the entire video, from cooking to editing to shooting to just making the whole thing happen. Each Tasty video can take anywhere from two hours to about two weeks. My toughest videos have taken almost like a month to make, but if it's a really easy dish, it can happen within like two hours. So we kind of put this camera up here and have it angled down over here so it really looks and gets you that top down angle. Um, my worst fear is that it's gonna fall. I've never had it fall, thank God. But you know, we gotta make sure it's really tight so it stays up here and that's the top down angle for the camera. So this is our prop room and this is a room where we keep all of our set decoration, finishing touches, plates, cake stands, we have lamps, we have candles, we kind of have all the things that we need to do to make our video feel like, you know, it's Valentine's Day or it's a holiday or it's a dinner or it's a family party. We really just kind of have all different colors, shapes and sizes of pans. We have a lot of colorful and fun things in here, but I have to say that this milk jug is probably my favorite. I do a lot of baked goods. I love making cookies. I love making brownies and you have to serve them with milk. People love it. I love it. I think it's a great ending to a dessert video. We are in the Tasty Pantry, packed with all sorts of amazing things that you can cook anything with. We have a lot of things that the normal home cook has access to, a few special ingredients, and my favorite, the spice wall. We get food delivered almost every day. This includes fresh produce, pantry items, specialty items, you name it. We're really conscious of food waste here, so when we're making a food video, we test it to make sure we're getting it right on the first try so we don't have to do it over and over again. Today, we're gonna make a tasty recipe, healthier cookie fruit pizza. It's a typical recipe that we love here at Tasty because it's using everyday ingredients in an unexpected and cool way. Now I'm gonna show you where all the equipment is stored. Here we have pots, pans, gadgets, knives, measuring cups, you name it. We have hundreds of pieces of equipment in this pretty tight small room. So we're all responsible for keeping things organized, but we do have a kitchen manager who keeps us in check and makes sure everything is in its right place. I have to say, the first time I did my Tasty video, I was shocked at the precision involved with the thoughtful placement of the ingredients, the movement of hands. It really is like an orchestrated dance of sorts. So first we'll get the main focal point of the shot in place. Make sure it's centered, focused. All right, let's do it. Step one. Action's going. <laughs> And in the editing, we'll put the text that says like, hey, one tablespoon of milk, two tablespoons of this in the left corner. So we have to make sure we save room in the screen to make sure we have that enough text to put up there. If you hold it up, there you go. It's like stuck. No, no, it's gonna go. Take some time sometimes with these. You'll just have to yeah. time so lapse. We'll, I'll just have to speed up the footage. Yeah, mm -hmm. we do that all the time. Rolling thing, rolling thing. Smells good. It does smell good. Sometimes it only takes one person to make the entire video and sometimes you just need some teamwork. So we're all here to help each other. <laughs> that is a perfect piece. Look at how it bakes. That bakes so well. Alright, so this crust is done. I think we should top it with the yeah. fruit toppings and yogurt. Alright. Show them how you do the perfect swirl. Yes, I can do that too. So now we would come in with yogurt, make sure you can see it in frame, the vanilla, and the maple. Mix, mix, mix. This looks really smooth. I'm actually going to get a close-up, so keep mixing and I'm going to swap blenders. 
I could do this all day. Yeah. Okay. So is that mixed? Mm -hmm. How does it taste? Taste good? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Now it's time to top this pizza. Okay, now you're going to show them the secret to the perfect tasty swirl, yes. so, which is that there is no perfect tasty swirl. There may not, there may not be a perfect <laughs> swirl happening today. The key is to get big dollops straight in the middle first. I am completely making this up. Once it's on the center, I like to kind of, you kind of want to go back and forth with the spoon in almost like a figure eight motion. Look at that. Press it to the edges because if you do that, you'll get a nice swirl effect. That is gorgeous. This is ready for some fruit topping. So we're gonna decorate this with some beautiful fruit that we have cut up. It's a very meditative experience, <laughs> topping this pizza. Sometimes I'm shooting alone and it's really nice because it's just quiet and it's me and the food and that's it. That's really pretty. Okay, you wanna do the next circle? No, let's do some raspberries. I'm messing up your swirl. That's okay. <laughs> you just made happy little accidents. Oh my goodness, this lemon is harder than I thought. Ooh, look at that. That is gonna taste so good. It smells so good. <laughs> So when the food is done, one thing that we're very, very careful about is making sure we present the food in the best way possible. So whether it's cutting it, whether it's serving it, whether it's taking a bite, whether it's pulling cheese apart, we really focus our time and energy on making sure the final product looks really great on the plate. So I'm gonna get a really sharp knife and hopefully this cuts really cleanly. Let's do it. So it's always a little nerve wracking by the time we get to this step because if I mess up, I have to do the whole thing over again. I don't want to do the whole thing over again. We're not doing it over again. So, all right, here we go. <laughs> See if I can get a clean slice. I'm watching it from here, so you're just gonna have to do it and I'll tell you where to go. Wait, that was really good. One more time, a little this way. See, this can take a while. A little more up here. I've done this before. This yeah, took like 20 ahead. minutes last time. Let's do it. One more, that was great. I can oh, use yeah. that one more time and then rotate it. Good. A little angle too. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Ah, perfect. That was Ooh. great. <laughs> awesome. All right. So later. then we're going to get really close and pick it up and then we just get to eat it. So. Okay. Mm. Cool. That is so good. Good, right? Oh my God. Yay. We don't want any food waste, so we're going to cut this up and serve it to a lot of our hungry employees. So I'm pretty sure they're waiting on us. This is usually the table where all the leftover food goes. We get a line coming in. It's like the literal Hunger Games. You can have like 100 <laughs> people. There's a lot of people in this office and they're really hungry. So I think they're going to want to get this. Yeah. So, come and yeah. get some. You guys want to get some fruit pizza? It's really nice to see when people actually come and eat it because that's your first chance knowing whether or not the recipe turned out good. So if they're excited about it, then we're excited about the recipe. It's good. That was a fun video. Got to eat a lot of fruit. I think we made a really cool one. Uh, so that is how a tasty video works. Thank you so much for coming with us to see how we operate in the Tasty Kitchen. We hopefully will see you online because we're going to be making a lot of videos. Tasty's always putting out new content, so be sure to check it out.